Hey, so most of you know how blend shapes work. I'm going to show you how to do that in ZBrush. Um, there is a way and it's not super obvious. So what we're trying to accomplish here in this example is the male to female uh, morph shown here. And by the way, I'll give this away for free. Um, and then I'll actually eventually post something that sculpts this from scratch. Um, okay, so so how do how do we do this? Uh, I'm going to show this in uh, I'm going to show this in Maya first, just to to reference like the the normal workflow. So if you have the model in Maya, this would be a blend shape, right? Same thing, blend shape. So I have a male and female mesh. To do that in Maya quickly, uh, I'll unhide that. I'll just delete all history here. So now there's no more blend shape, you can see. Um, so if I select the female, go to the male, the form, blend shape. I'm gonna hide this so you don't see it. Go to here, check my blend shape. There it is. So simple as that, Maya. Most of you know how to do that, but doing that in ZBrush is another story. Um, I'll just show you how. So uh, if I'm in here, look at my sub tools. This is the model that I'm gonna give away. Uh, here's the male and female mesh. By the way, if you don't know, blend shapes only work if you have the exact same vert order. So you're gonna have to be careful about not modifying the vert order, but I assume that's why you're here. You're wondering how to do this because you were careful about not messing up the vert order. Um, so uh, male model, female model, how do I do the, that in ZBrush? How do I set that up in ZBrush? Um, well, it's really simple. Just go ahead and I'll duplicate the male model. And I'll name this, uh, I'll just name this like blend morph. It's uh, generally called a blend shape, but in ZBrush is more called a morph target. Then, um, so from here, uh, that's gonna be, this is gonna be the one that I change. So I'll just bring it down to the bottom. If I, so this is a male right now, I'm gonna go to the female, this will be the changed one. Uh, go to the female model, I'm gonna export it as an OBJ. Well, first, first actually, let's just do this. So this male model that I'm gonna change, I'm gonna store a morph target. So I'll do that in the normal UI, because I, I have shortcuts. Uh, so look for morph target, store morph target. Okay, so now that's saved as a morph target, just the default. Um, back to the sub tools, go to female, going to export this, female OBJ, save it anywhere, it's exported. Now I'm gonna go to the male, and remember this only works if you have the same vert order, which I do in this case. I'm gonna go import, female model as an OBJ. So now it just gets switched to this female. But because I stored the morph target ahead of time, you'll notice that I can switch now between the two. So successfully done that. Now to make matters easier, I'll create a layer. And I'm going to actually go back to the morph target, switch it back to the original, Record a layer, I'll name that morph email switch, stop recording. And now you can see uh, it did actually rename that, so I'll just rename it again. Male, female, morph. So Back to the layers, you can see male, female, morph. And you could actually kind of interpolate between the two if you wanted to since it's on a layer. Um, that's how you do it. Uh, I used to always export it to Maya to do that and, and re-import. Um, this is a lot easier. Hope this helps somebody out. Take care.